Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode review. Uh, first of all, uh, sorry for not getting this out on Monday, just some things came up Monday and Tuesday, which meant that I could only really get around to recording it today. But anyway, I am here to review slash discuss the next episode of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 slash 13, and that is um, uh, episode 14, 114. The new girl in town. Um, overall, I thought this was a good episode. Um, kind of nothing really more than that. I thought it was just had some good points, had some bad points, and overall, it was a fun episode because you know it's it. This show is a very high quality show, and I don't think there's been any bad episodes. Um, they've all been good quality, and I think that's the kind of hallmark of a good show that it there is kind of not really any bad episodes that do anything horribly wrong. So I'll just get into some of my talking points now. Um, uh, Snakeweed returns, this was the first little one. Um, nice continuity to have him return after um, obviously the kind of big reveal at the end of like that episode that he wasn't actually killed because uh, his heart seems to just regenerate him. If you don't get that, he comes back. Um, then there was the whole crazy thing of him using humans to make fertilizer to basically make him more powerful. That was uh, some pretty crazy imagery of the guy just in this sort of acid stuff that we assume was eventually going to maybe like dissolve humans into fertilizer which was pretty crazy stuff. Um, but uh, he made an interesting kind of B-plot I suppose to the episode to give a threat that Leo wasn't going to be involved in and that Raph could lead on that one. But uh, yeah, I think that was a nice continuity having him return. Um, next, I'll go into Leonardo, and uh, basically his leadership is once again questioned by Raphael, and that's basically what the whole thing of this episode is about. Um, and the big thing I got from this was that basically this is a Leonardo-focused episode because the episode is titled "New Girl in Town." That obviously refers to Karai, and Leo and Karai are basically the main characters in this episode, but. Leo seems unable to have character development in this show without the focus of his episodes also being on Raph. Now, you know, it makes sense because Raph is the one that wants to be the leader and Leo is the leader and that they kind of happen side by side. But it's happened like two or three times now where there's been this kind of episode that focuses a bit more on Leonardo but ends up kind of having this almost more Raph focus stuff um, in terms of learning from the episode um, and it just means that Leo going forward has really yet to have a big episode where he develops now what happens in this episode is very interesting to him and to like to see what happens to him next but definitely Raph is the one who kind of develops more in this episode um, and obviously um, this is the like second or third time that's actually happened in an episode where Raph has questioned Leo's decision which again is one of those things where you wonder like at the end of this episode it's made so clear to us that Raphael really now I suppose respects Leonardo as the leader so if he starts questioning Leo's decisions again it's gonna be a kinda of big negative I think for the series if they really have him do that a lot again and just have this kinda of whole thing repeat over and over again that you know I should be the leader and all this so I think this episode has to be there has to be like uh, consequences going forward for that, that Leonardo is the leader and he's not questioned, at least by Raphael. Um, obviously, because of this, um, Leonardo then gives Raph the job because he's very frustrated at basically not being respected as the leader, not getting any thanks for it and all that. And Raph thinks he's going to be the best leader ever. But um, I suppose going into the next bit, which is... Uh, more focused on Leo, he then goes to uh, kind of Splinter after watching the Space Heroes episode and asks Splinter like for advice on this and here's another negative I have about this episode is that Splinter is pretty harsh and I suppose aggressive towards Leo when he actually says this in that he kind of like tightens his like grip on his cane and it looks like he's about to like hit Leonardo with it for like thinking this way. Now the main problem I have with this is that He's very nice to Raphael later on in the episode when Raphael comes to him for advice. When Raph was the one who kind of caused this situation. Yet Leo, who is the one who is just being the leader, he hasn't really done anything wrong. And was just getting frustrated, you know. <laughs> he's the one who gets kind of like, um, 
given out to by Splinter. Because Splinter's advice usually has led the turtles to do something to help them develop. But this advice that he gives to Leo just makes him even more frustrated and he leaves for the rest of the episode. So I felt like kind of like the writers wrote this scene for Splinter, him acting overly harsh just to make give Leo a kind of reason to go off kind of on his own away from the rest of them because of kind of what happens later on in the episode where Splinter is not in the same mood when he <laughs> talks about Leonardo's burden of leadership with Wrath. So um, that's something that very much stood out to me in this episode, the kind of inconsistency of kind of like, uh, Splinter's handling of things and kind of backwards just to aid the kind of plot of this episode. Um, but anyway, I'll go into Wrath next before put more focus on Raph before I kind of go into Leo and Karai and um, basically um, he is very very harsh on Leo once he becomes the leader he goes so far as to not even include him in on the plan which when you kind of get down near the end of the episode there is no plan Raph basically just orders them attack the head attack the head over and over again they're just getting battered um, but then when Mikey gets injured, he gets his face smashed off wall and Raph is not sure if he's still alive and he's, he completely kind of uh, panics under pressure and kind of shows himself not to be a good leader under pressure uh, to the point where Donatello is the one who has to kind of like step up and uh, kind of get them out of there alive. And um, it's definitely a big impact on Raph because he cares so much about his brother's safety despite him not caring that much about his own. Um, so uh, that was interesting and then he, he's, as I mentioned, he gets the advice from um, Splinter, which I like this scene later on, it's just the inconsistency of it. I like the scene with Splinter telling Raph about, you know, like, now you understand Leonardo's burden, you understand, like, what it is to be a leader now and kind of like, you never see Leonardo kind of acting like that um, under all this pressure, he just kind of stands up and does it and that's his strength as a person and that's why Splinter gave um, Leonardo the leadership of the group and Raph understands that. I just hope they keep that going forward, that Raph realises this situation and that he shouldn't really be the leader, unless they're going to go develop Raph to make him a kind of secondary leader and maybe if Leonardo's out of the picture he actually does develop more as a leader. Something like that would be interesting. But um, continuing on, um, Leonardo uh, meeting Karai. Now uh, I, I suppose this is more focused on Karai here but I did not like her design really at all. Um, especially the hair because hair is something in CG animation that is kind of um, weird like if it's not animated it kind of looks very static and wooden and as if it was carved and especially with Karai the way she just randomly had the patch of like yellow blonde hair at the back and because there was no movement in her hair it made it just look silly I think that she had like the kind of black black hair all the way around except this really kind of perfect kind of curve uh, separating the two colors of hair along the back and it just it distracted me every single time they kind of showed a, a shot of her where you could see the two kind of different colors of hair and um, the voice acting I thought was just okay it suited the character enough but it wasn't anything amazing that like she was this amazing new character with an amazing new voice uh, otherwise she was actually interesting in terms of like what she did and like acted uh, with Leo and that. She's loyal to Shredder but she's more interested in kind of being interested I suppose is the thing. So when she sees Leo instead of just killing him like Shredder orders she just kind of sees this as um, a way to I suppose have fun in this city where she's not having much fun because Shredder is not the sort of guy who likes to have fun so that's um interesting he becomes interested in her because she's not like the rest of the foot clan because she has this kind of whole thing of being interested in him and no one else would be um and then you know he goes to april later on in the episode and kind of sets up this whole leonardo has a crush on karai and also maybe the reverse as well karai sort of had a cr has a crush on leo and i think this episode now that there's two turtle human crushes, relationships sort of set up, they really need to decide what the show is actually going to do with any of them. Are they going to go, go ahead and 
like have a romantic relationship here are they gonna go as far as to develop them where like it can't happen like they just have to understand that they they're not going to be able to have a relationship with humans because no one will accept it or like april with and donatello april just says like i'm don't feel that way about you donatello they need to develop that otherwise it's just this in joke that's going to go on forever and ever with donatello just having this crush on april and there was a scene in, that happened on this here and the same with leo and karai are they going to do anything with it or not um, something has to happen um the big thing I think I got about, about Karai is that there's this whole mystery around her and that um, she's not for, like her father really in that many ways. So there's obviously the kind of theory that Karai is not Shredder's daughter and may in fact be Splinter's daughter. Um, which is pretty interesting and may actually work if they go to maybe change sides or something like that. Something like that. Um, Space Heroes, in, as another talking point, was interesting because once again it kind of um, tells the basic story of what's going to happen in the episode. And that, like, Leo once again is the captain, <laughs> Karai is obviously the girl, and there's this whole thing about, you know, is she with him or against him, and what's Leo going to do in relation to that. It didn't go the exact same way, but definitely gave Leo something to think about in relation to his own situation. Um, and other than that, I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about. The sword fights were interesting. I didn't think they were the best fights of the series. They could have been better, but they were good. Um, and the biggest thought I think I have going into this episode, and I have it written down here right along the bottom of my uh, notes, is that Leo cannot have his own episode without the focus also being on Raph. I really just want an episode that gives... Uh, Leo his focus. Mikey had his one where he was the main focus of the episode. Donatello had two. Raph had his one and you know Shred uh, Splinter kind of had his one. Leo hasn't really had his own one yet because Raph has also been a major player in his episode so really want that to happen but overall I like the episode and I think it just has a lot of potential going forward. The whole thing that they were setting up with Karai wanting Leonardo and her to steal the sword and maybe April kind of may meet Karai because they seem around the same age and there's that whole thing maybe they'll be enemies or friends or something like that because you know obviously April's training to be a female ninja she's already a female ninja Karai that's definitely something that seems to be happening and then overall just Leo's um, I suppose um, thoughts about her he has that knife he's looking at it he's very interested in Karai and um, where that goes Snakeweed obviously remains a kind of threat, and there's the whole thing of, you know, Shredder basically said he was going to hurt Karai unless he, she killed Leonardo next time he, she saw him. That didn't happen, so how's that going to work out? But as I said, good episode, had its problems, I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, thank you for watching this review, and bye!